Parasite with a Y in it. 9.5 out of 10. It is quite literally almost as close to perfect as you can get. The concept is unique and brilliantly executed. The world feels so fragile and you as the viewer feel those stakes. You know, I watched Juju Kaisen pretty recently, and one huge contrast between the two is that you don't have any overpowered characters that act as failsafes or dedicated organizations whose life's work is to counter the main antagonist's expansion. Thus, you feel more detached from the world and on your own. Oh, and did I mention there was a love dynamic as well, and that it was done pretty well? Really, the only gripe I have with the show is that while the final fight was very climactic, the finale of that fight was a bit short and could have been a tad more epic. Still though, 9.5 out of 10, greatest single season of any show I've seen so far, onto the video. Alright, so up until this point, we've calculated attack speed, crit chance, and movement speed, and this time, as the title already gave away, we'll be reviewing damage reduction. Now, in some of my past videos, I have used some pretty replicable calculations due to one honestly pretty simple reason. They were all purely hypothetical. Since I can't take a peek into Vermintide 2's code, there's no way to tell sometimes how they calculate multiple sources of similar effects onto each other. I can say, however, that without a doubt, when it comes to damage reduction at least, the accumulated value is in fact additive, meaning 30% DR plus 20% DR equals 50%. So before we get into some numbers, first we need to talk about one more thing. In order to calculate damage reduction, we need a consistent source of damage. So in this case, we'll be using the Skaven Slave, which does 32 damage per swing, and the Storm Vermin's Downswipe, which deals 150. And so, as always, we start with the careers. Of our 19 classes in Vermintide 2, 15 of those 19 can produce some form of damage reduction. And for the sake of wiping away any gray areas, anything you see on the screen as of this moment will not be included in the tests since they just make a mess of things one way or another. Also, fun fact, of those four careers that can produce damage reduction, three of them are Corellian. And of those 15 careers, four give damage reduction to their allies, three of which are Kruber, and one of which being Ranger Bard. And since he and Kruber have zero chance of competing with with Unchained, we'll be using those two for support. Using Ranger Veteran's Drunken Brawler for an extra 9%, along with the Foot Knight's Comrades in Arms for another 50. But there is one more thing we haven't taken into consideration yet. The necklace. The necklace can give us bark skin along with a single damage reduction source at 10%, giving us another 50% damage reduction. So in campaign games, you're gonna want Ranger Vet and Foot Knight with Brawler and Comrades alongside an Unchained with Blood Magic running in Feebling Flames and Numb to Pain, along with the necklace, for a grand total of 204% damage reduction. After that, you've got alternative game modes, specifically Chaos Waste. Considering that you still retain up to 154 percent damage reduction from campaign games despite that the necklace is no longer in effect, you can still boost your damage reduction sky high so long as you 1. stand still for 30%, 2. be at super low health for 25%, and 3. collect an orb that reduces damage by 50% for 10 seconds, giving you up to 259% damage reduction. Now I know what you're thinking, 259% damage reduction? What does that even mean? I mean seriously, it's crit chance all over again. If you have 100% damage reduction, shouldn't the value of damage taken be at zero every time? Funny thing about that. Remember earlier when I told you that since I don't know Vermintide's code that I can't properly calculate values? Well, during my testing, I found what can best be referred to as a loophole after I reached a certain value of damage reduction. For you see, no matter how high your accumulated damage reduction value is, the Vermintide code fixes the damage reduction to block around 75% of the attack's value. Remember the Skaven Slave and the Storm Vermin? No matter how high the damage reduction went, the lowest value I could get was 8 points. And for the Storm Vermin, I got 40, which just so happens to be 73.33%. Coincidence? I think not. But wait, Zachary, if you knew all along that 259% damage reduction was pointless, why didn't you just cut all that unnecessary info out of the video and just tell us that instead? <laughs>